welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm so glad you're tuning in. Oh, we're so excited here today. It is, oh my God, July 29th, I think. Yeah, it's July 29th. It's a Monday and it's six o'clock PM. We're filming tonight and I went to Lowe's and I got this gorgeous flower thing, $20. Can you even believe it? It's huge. I'm going to put it in the yard, like maybe by the lamppost. And I said, are these going to come back? You know, once I plant them in the yard, are they going to come back every year? And the guy's like, I think so. So I think they're called like Shasta daisies. I was saying to Rich, thanks, Rich, for filming tonight. He is our director. Thank you, Rich. Um, anyway, I was saying, do you have a tennis racket in the back? Because I'm just going to pluck one of those off and hit it right at the camera. It looks like a badminton. So I'm going to call them badminton daisies because they look like badmintons. There's pink, there's white. Um, I did a quick sketch with a Sharpie, which I always say not to do, but you can at least see my uh, lines and stuff. Uh, they're not that hard to draw, so let me show you quick. So Rich is going to focus in here. If he doesn't, who cares? But basically, you do a rainbow like this, okay? And then you do a smiley face like that. Looks like a gumdrop. And then your flowers kind of go down, okay? And then a little stem, and of course, there's leaves everywhere. And you can put those in you know, as you go along. So I'm just gonna paint away. And when I was buying that plant, a lady, um, she was like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I was like 20 bucks, there's three left. I got the best one, of course, so you can't have that one. But I did get the best one. And if you go in and get it, and she was like, where do I know you from? And I'm like, ugh, I don't know. And then she figured out that it was the show. So her name was Camille. Camille, thanks so much, it was so nice. I'm like, where do you live? She's like, Farmington. I guess her husband was a dentist. Maybe he still is, I don't even know. I was like, oh my God, I can't even imagine doing that job. She goes, I know. She said, I got two daughters, neither one of them could stand it, and none of them wanted to do it. I th thought she was so nice. So Camille, I told her to come on the show. I said, Camille, meet me here at six, but she wasn't ready and I get it. You know me, I'm never prepared and I get it, but another time maybe Camille will come on, but she was awesome. And I hope she got a plant like mine. Uh, anyway, Lowe's has good stuff. I mean, I'm telling you, really good plants and stuff. And plus it was raining. So, you know, those plants, a lot of them are kind of out, like when you first go into the garden part, you know, those plants are exposed to uh, rain and stuff. So it was kind of nice. Um, I'm going to start with some color here so you don't get too bored here. Um, this is going to be an abstract. We have a green, um, uh, what do you call that thing, Rich? Uh, ah, a green screen. Yeah. It's fancy. Anyway, that's behind me, and it's like a very Viridian green, which is a very Kelly green kind of thing. Well, Viridian, yeah, it's Kelly green. It's got a lot of blue in it. Um, I know my colors. Um, so anyway, also, I ran into Greer Torrance, the painting instructor at Miss Porter's, and I ran into his wife at Talbot's. And then I thought she was shopping, but she worked there. Sorry, Sarah. And then I went on to tell her coworkers that, that, that Greer was like, you know what he is like really famous and they were like oh we didn't know so i felt like such a jerk so sorry sarah but anyway they're kind of private you know with he doesn't go telling everybody he's so great at painting but he really is anyhow um i messed up so she was like on what so i think i said it was free but i meant a long time ago it was free so in exchange for sometimes room and board or being a teacher at these private schools um you kind of get a discount, but not free. So sorry, I totally screwed that up. Anyhow, let's keep going. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my background black. I might mix it with some of this Viridian green so that you get the effect that it does have that green room approach thing, green screen, sorry. Uh, you wanna paint the sides because people, a lot of people really, you know, it depends like how, like kind of sometimes how rich you are too, because some people refuse to not uh, have a frame. Is it raining? Oh my God, it's pouring rain. I love it. Can you hear it? Hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. This is what I put on at night. It's called white noise. And I find, um, I don't like thunder because it wakes me up, but I just do the rain on the roof like this and I can't sleep a lot of the times. So uh, I do this, white noise. And it's like basically the sound of rain on a tin roof like this, so nice. If anybody wants to buy the building, rich people, you're watching, uh, we need somebody to buy the building. 
and then we lease it from you. I don't know how that works. I don't have a business degree, which is, you know, probably a good thing. Well, maybe not. I wouldn't mind a partner. You know, I wouldn't mind like, okay, if you're watching the show and you're like, she's so talented and so stupid at the same time. Uh, it's not that I'm dumb. It is that I can't, uh, I don't have the same skill set as some people do. So, you know, if you notice like, wow, I could make a lot of money off her, uh, you know, you don't need to use it like Britney Spears' whole thing. But, you know, I don't mind, you know, people taking some of my money. I mean, God, I can't do it. I'm not good at that. So, like, if you're like, oh, my God, Dawn has, if you look at all my paintings, the only way to really see them, because I don't really have a website, I did, then I messed it all up, and I don't really care. There's a way of finding them. And the most way there is is I have two Facebook accounts because I forgot the password to the first one, so I made another one. <laughs> but I can still log in as my friend. So I'm actually friends with myself on Facebook. So I am under Dawn Nolan Lombardi and Dawn Lombardi. So by looking at those, you hit photos, and you can see that I don't put a lot of, uh, I mean, my husband, whatever, he'll be 24 forever because the only pictures I have of him are our wedding, and he was 24. I don't think we have a Christmas picture with him. Nothing. He runs. I mean, you'd really have to sneak up. And I don't do that to him. And we'll be celebrating 25 years on Wednesday. And my parents is Wednesday as well. I planned it that way. I was like, you know what? If they've been married forever, then this is a good sign. I'm going to pick the same wedding day as them. And I did. Except they've been married for 59 years. So 25, 59. That's crazy. So I'm just going to keep putting in the background here. And then when I put the flowers, I told you I was going to add the color, but I don't want to have to go back and put all of, since the background's the background, a lot of times you want to get that out and over with. And then usually, you know, I'm keeping a lot of it white. So when my colors pop, I'm not going over. They always say, don't paint your house red. And everybody knows if you paint your house red and then you decide, oh, you know, I don't want it red anymore. I'm going to primer over it. Well, the red and the white bleed, uh, and it turns pink. And my husband works at Benjamin Moore, so I'm still, I'm sure there's ways around that, but I know that that was a big thing. It's like, you know, once you go red, it's like your hair. It's very hard to take that dye once you, you know, put red dye or the hair dye. So I'm just going in here. Like I said, I hope it doesn't go this up an episode and you're just watching this boring, you know, black and white thing, but it's a big part of the painting. Um, I went down to my sister's at Cape Cod in Falmouth, and then we, uh, we stayed at the Red Horse Inn. We love it, and except I checked in a day late and paid for a day before. She's like, we've been waiting for you, and I'm like, oh my God, Are you kidding me? I spent $700 for two d hotel rooms, and I wasn't mad because, you know, it could have been my fault. I don't think it was my fault, but you know what? Everything's always my fault, so... I didn't really get mad at her, but I just thought, you know what, I'm not rich, so I really wouldn't screw up, uh, you know what I mean, something like that, reservations for something that's going to cost me that kind of money. So I was a little disappointed. I also thought she could have said, like, oh, you know, how about, like, in the middle of March when, like, nobody's here at all, you know, maybe you could come with your husband when there's nobody here and, like, we'll make it up to you. But no, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Um, here we go. I'm going to start putting in some color soon. Rich will come out and say like 10 minutes. It's still totally enough time to, uh, you know, put some color in here. It's just, and I, you know, I might not have enough black, so I might end up having to use this uh, darkish green for most, a lot of the painting, which is fine. Um, with the green, these are big leaves. Uh, I'm just doing the outline of them. Okay. They're big leaves. And they have big stems like this. Yeah, I also was at UPS, and my daughter's getting a passport. She is going, uh, we expedited it, so it should be coming soon. But she's going to go to Cancun with a friend of hers. Thank you, Diana. Oh, you've seen Diana on the show. She had a haunted house. And Christine Pettit came on, and they talked about haunted houses. And Diana was completely 95%, no, 100%. 
that that house was haunted. And they moved because of it. So, you know, no kidding around, you know, like when people actually move their whole family, like they're not messing around. So like you have to kind of believe them, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my God, if stuff drips, don't worry. You can either take it off as I'm gonna do in a minute with a uh, paper towel. Okay, I'm just trying to get as much of the background as I can get back here. And there's a lot of flowers, but I don't really want to have to add any. And I'm almost done with a pretty good background. So anyway, I'm in UPS. Nettie's getting her passport stuff information done. And Larry, hi, Larry. Larry worked at Tommaso's golf course. The driving range. The driving range across from, uh, it used to be King's Pizza, Demetrius's place. And... He was like, Dawn, I watched your show. I couldn't even believe it. I get so excited. So if you see me, oh, please tell me if you watch the show. And then come on. I told Camille, come on. She's like, oh, God, no, my hair. I'm like, what do you mean your hair? You look great. It's ridiculous. But that's OK. I get it. Um, you know, you don't even have to know how to paint. Plus, you get to bring this one home with you. I'm not kidding. And this one's courtesy of Nutmeg TV. I'm supposed to be painting the studio behind me. but. Um, I'm not doing that tonight. I saved it for another day. Uh, I'm going to put some more black and green over here because I really want to do the background. But I'm pretty close to having most of the background done. Now the pot on the face, or whatever, the pot for the flowers, it is, um, it's white. And with the light going on it, it's going to be gray anyway, but I don't know if I want to paint it that color. So I can change the pot. But if I want it to look realistic, you want to paint, you know, pretty much what's in front of you. So we'll see. Uh, I got a couple brushes today. I've got this one that the dog got a hold of. Good thing he didn't get the brush part. He got the tip. You know, I don't know. He'd rather chew the wood, I guess. Uh, these are very cheap. They have the blue um, handle or whatever stick, if you will. And they sell them at Dick Blick. And you'll just recognize them from the Navy, um, the royal blue uh, stick here. Okay, I've got some other brushes here that I'm privy to, but I mean, I just changed them around, but I really like these ones. And they're not expensive, so if you don't take super great care of your brushes, you know, don't worry about it. Um, I don't have any more black, so when we go to the next episode, I'll add that black. I have a little here, but I'll get that next episode. Let's start doing the cone flowers. Um, my water's kind of black, but don't worry about that, okay? And I'll show you what I meant about taking the paint off the canvas. I'm gonna go really up close here and see what I mean. So you can take a paper towel and just dip it into a little bit of water here. And then you just, you know, it's acrylic paint. So also I'm giving the, um, I'm giving a painting to Andy at the Stanley Whitman, ex except my husband left it out in the rain. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh my God. So I've got to dry it off and dust it and everything, but I'm going to drop that off for the progressive dinner. That should be a nice piece to add to the collection. I'm finally done with it and I decided that would be a nice piece if they want it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take orange and yellow and white and mix it all together. And I'm gonna get this super crazy. It needs a little more orange on it. Okay, and I'm gonna put that on the cone flower. Now you're gonna see right away how this thing is gonna like pop. Okay, I'm only putting it on the top. It's very light, bright, very bright. And it is the top of the cone flower. Now, orange and green are going to make brown because red and green make brown and orange is red and yellow mix. So it has it has yellow in, I'm sorry, red in it. So obviously, um, you know, I'm so good at mis mixing colors. It's crazy. But obviously, if red and green make brown and orange has red and yellow that makes uh, orange, then the orange is going to, uh, you know, turn brown when it hits the green. So you don't really want to do that. You can. And also, these things are kind of brown, you know? I'm gonna actually turn it into the bottom of it, might end up being more brown. But I'm gonna put these around. Pretty much while I have this thing, I'm gonna just put it everywhere. There it goes, it's turning that brown. Uh, yucky. But it's good, 10 minutes, we have a ton of time. Woo, I can't wait. Um, what else? I wrote down a couple notes, but sometimes I can't even read the notes. Um, oh God, I don't know. I was driving with my brights on my car for a while because um, I, they wouldn't work. I turned on the, uh, you know, the parking lights 
those didn't work. Regular lights didn't work. So I had to drive around with high beams on. People were like flashing me mad. I'm like, I can't even. Finally, I went into Valve Align, which is great. Our friend Matthew works there. And I mean, we just love it. All right, now, uh, we are gonna have to put in some more uh, light greens and things. But first, we're gonna do the petals. And they are white. Oh, let's do the pink. Um, I just got this all over my hand. But again, we have time. And as they always say here, Dawn, you've got a lot of time, so which is great. All right, I'm gonna do the pink. Now the pink ones also have the, um, you know, the yellow thing, okay? So I'm gonna put this around. Now I can go back and I can fix it later, okay? But I'm just gonna put in here. Now this is the same color pink, you don't want that. So you're gonna want to have the flower have different color pinks in it. You know, a little bit of brown in it. You don't want the same color pink for the whole thing. It won't look good. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more. I don't really have any more flowers left, so I'm just gonna pretend that this one is pink over here, and maybe there's a pink one over there, and maybe one is there, and maybe one is there. And the rest, I might do them white, because I love that look. Now, the white has a little bit of the, this like crazy tinted green in it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, maybe. I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna put these white petals on these, okay? And hopefully they're just gonna look so nice. And then we'll be able to do another episode. This will be drying. I'll go switch my brush and my water and everything, and I'll come back, and we're gonna finish this thing up, and this is gonna look great. I might wanna keep this one. I don't know. I, uh, it was my friend Nance's birthday. Hi, Nance. And she lives in West Hartford, so they don't get this channel. But anyway, we met at Max Oyster, and I got there early, and I grabbed the clipboard and the pen, dressed up as the waitress, and I snuck up behind her, and I said, can I take your drink order? Now, let me tell you, she didn't even know. She didn't know it was me. I was like, it's me. And then she was like, what? So that was kind of a hoot. I've been planning that for a while. I just never got around to like tricking her, uh, you know, because that's kind of mean, but, but it was fun. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take some green and I'm gonna put some, you know, different colored greens in here for the leaves. They're gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna have some of this orangey in them and I'm gonna put these, they're not really that color though. So we're gonna hopefully get the right green here. I got it, okay. So we're gonna put some of this green in here, okay? And we're gonna put some of it here and some of it here and some of it there. And I'm gonna end up changing this green a lot too. It's not gonna end up being this color green because I really want it to look you know, perfect. But also it's going to be an abstract painting, as you can tell. It's gonna be abstract and hopefully it's gonna look good. You know, you never know with these things. Um, it's good to have a base though. If you're thinking like, I'm gonna do an abstract painting, better off having a subject matter because if you have a subject matter, you can at least you know start with these flowers and then if it turns into something crazy, then it turns into something crazy. Um, I can't find any green, so I'm gonna wait till the next episode to add the green that I'm looking for and I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna put some shadow on my pot here. And this pot is not really white. Some of it is, but not most of it, because the shadow is hitting it. And it has these stripes on it like this, okay? So you can kind of leave the canvas, it can be, you know, the white stripes. You don't have to always use the paint to, um, you know, you don't have to use the paint to do the stripes. You can use the white of the canvas instead of, you know what I'm saying? You can use the white of the canvas instead of using the white paint to do these stripes, if you want to. Um, you know, it depends. Uh, I, hopefully this is gonna come out good. A lot of it is, um, at this point, it's color is a, a huge part of my painting. So we're gonna put some light here because those leaves are kind of right here. And then I'm gonna go in and put a lot of this green next time because I don't have really have much left. And a lot of this black, which I have a little here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more black. And I can always pretend. I don't have to act like, you know, there's all these flowers here. Uh, we'll go and do another episode, and hopefully it's going to look great. Thanks for always tuning in. We have like five more minutes, so it's not bad. Um, I want to shout out to my, my friend Christina Perbeck, Christina Sapansky's Perbeck, uh, our chef with Christina Culinary, Christina's 
creator, Christina's, well, I can't even say it, Christina's Culinary Creations. Um, she went, one of my best friends passed away, and we're all so sad, and you probably remember her from a lot of the episodes, a pretty blonde girl cooking. So anyway, um, loved her, and thanks for watching those shows with her. And hopefully one day, her dream up will uh, happen up there. It's crazy. You never know. So someone says, you know, you just have to live life and, you know, be nice. And you never know. So I don't know. But very into fitness and what she ate and stuff. So it's very strange. So five minutes, five minutes. Okay, so I'm not using anything fancy. Um, I do have this fantastic hairspray. And, you know, if you're ever using charcoal, ooh, ha, huh, it smells really good. It's got to be Garnier. Very expensive. Now, if you're ever doing charcoal pieces or chalk, when you're done with them and you rub up against it, it's going to get on your clothes and it's going to wreck the drawing. Now, what you can use is any kind of aerosol hairspray. Aquanet is the best. But if you want to go to the art store and spend half your paycheck on, uh, what's it called, acrylic, ah, fixative. It's not a ton, $6.99 maybe, but you can buy a can of hairspray. Aquanet's the best, and you find most of that great Aquanet stuff is Dollar Tree because they don't even, like, make that anymore. You got to go to where it's, like, expired. Nothing against Dollar Tree because I get, like, trash bags there. I love it there. Oh, by the way, I didn't get the job at McDonald's yet, and I'm just saying that I'm mad. Someone was like, hey, you should go to the Avon one. Well, I don't want to go to the Avon one. The whole point is that I live right next to the Plainville one. You know, I want to work there. So, oh, hear me out. I mean, I really, not much less to the summer, but even if she hires me now, I'll still do like Sundays, but not Saturdays and Sundays. But now, yes. But I'm telling you, I'm mad. And my friend Colleen said she knew the reason why. And I said, well, whatever. I was so mad because it's like, ugh. I really, it's very convenient to my house. Plus, I would love to see all the people. I mean, for one, I live there. I go there a lot. It's either Chick-fil-A, you know, Subway. We go, you know, it's like, you know, when you don't cook, we don't like it. Now, I'm going to leave a lot of white. You want some white showing. Otherwise, the painting's not going to be good. Every... That's one of the first ones you, things you learn in composition is uh, Stuart Davis is one of them. Um, you learn composition and black and white with color always works. So if you have black and white with the color, uh, it, it just makes the painting pop. So we're going to make sure that we have a lot of like crisp lines here so that you can see where this flower has, you know, lighter and darker parts on it. So I'm just going to put those in, okay? And when I go back in, by the next episode, this stuff is going to dry a lot. And when you go over stuff that's not dry, it turns into whatever color you're mix mixing it with. Brown. I mean, it ruins it. It makes people hate art a lot. Oh, I made it out. It's like, well, first of all, you got to have a good teacher like me. And there are a lot of fantastic teachers. Sandy Jankowski, she's fantastic. She took over for me at the uh, Bristol Senior Center. Before me was Mickey. She was fantastic. We're all fantastic. But, um, yeah, it's like you got to know these are going to be leaves. This is going to be a big leaf that goes over here. We have one minute. Can you even believe it? I can't believe it. I'm trying to think of what other funny things happened. Oh, well, I went down to my sister's and I put a big, huge canvas, this same size, except it was facing the other way. I didn't have a canvas, so I just put it up against a uh, telephone pole on the beach in front of her house. And I painted this gorgeous, gorgeous painting. Then I gave it to her roommate from college, who I haven't seen in 20 years. And she popped by and she's like, oh, that would look gorgeous. And I was like, take it, please hang it and then brag and tell everybody you know me. So anyway, I'm going here with the leaves. Now, if we just go into the captions, don't worry. Um, you know, also, I'm going to have Nettie come on here, and she's going to show me, uh, she's going to show us how to do some Halloween makeup, okay? Uh, my daughter 
is probably going to be, I don't know what it is. It's probably my fault. I have a, I'm not obsessed with Stephen King, but I really do like him. Uh, anyway, my daughter loves it. So Halloween's coming up and I'm going to see if she'll come on and maybe do like, you know, not just her makeup or not just my makeup, but maybe a couple of us. She could do our makeup scary and that would be fun. All right. I'm just going in with this black. Uh, Rich is just going to go in again. Thank you, Rich, for being my director. I don't know what I'd do without these people here. We just uh, had some cookies from Nani's. Nani's used to be Manjafico's in Plainville across from West End Pizza. And I said to her, do you really bake all this stuff? She goes, yeah. And then I'm like, have you ever really heard of an Italian bakery that makes bagels? And she's like, my son makes them. I'm like, what? Like, I've never, it's crazy. And then you're thinking they're not going to be good. Now, I'm very picky with my bread. Um, the bottom of the bagel was exactly the way I like it. The top, I don't know yet. I pick it apart. If you've ever had lunch or whatever with me with bread, I'm picky. You know, I love the bread baskets, but I don't want the whole piece of bread. I'm picky. There's different parts of the bread. There's the inside that's like eating Play-Doh. Uh, some people love it. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm just picky. So anyway, we are going to go into the next episode. This is going to be gorgeous. I've got to like get some more light going on in here. It kind of, you know, it's not that great. But thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And if you want to come on the show, I would love to have you. I would just love it. It's 6 o'clock Monday. If you want to do one episode, 6 to 6.30. If you want to do two, 6.30 to 7, bang, we're out of here. Um, we can always go to Fork and Fire. My friend Kurt, he's been on the show. Have a little glass with him or sit and have a bite to eat, and it would be so great. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I love it. And Camille, thanks for reaching out at Lowe's. And um, Larry, thanks for reaching out at UPS. So exciting. Sometimes I'm a bit embarrassed to walk around because I'm one. You know, I don't know if people, like, think it's good or if they don't like the show. I, I don't know. You know, some people could be like, that lady's crazy. So I don't know. But anyway, if you're tuning in and you love it, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, bye. See you on the next episode. It's going to be different. Same outfit, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Water's warm at Jaws Pond, and we're stocked full of treasures. Big or small, we buy it all. We buy and sell fast rides, power tools, vintage guitars, and so much more. Walk the plank in style with our fine jewelry, diamonds, and watches. Plus, we have a huge selection of the latest video games, including the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Jaws Pond, conveniently located on Meriden Waterbury Turnpike in Southington and West Main Street in New Britain. Follow us on Instagram at nutmeg.tv.